Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Sorry that I've been uploading for so long. But before this video begins, please give this video a like. Okay, let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And what a better way to begin this video than with a question like this. Would you rather be credited? Okay, for those of you who don't know what credited means, basically it means um, take credit. So, in other words, take credit for the invention of the wheel or take credit for the invention of the internet. Okay, so on one hand, the wheel is uh, one of the most important inventions of mankind because without wheels, you wouldn't exactly have cars and that's kind of obvious, I don't know why the heck I'm pointing that out but if you didn't have internet our lives would be boring not only boring but we'd basically be people who'd have to go to libraries every single time we want to figure something out so I would much rather be credited slash take credit for the invention of the internet best decision people can make. Would you rather go on a magic carpet ride with Jasmine or take Cinderella to the ball? Magic carpets are cool, so... And that's... I don't know what to say about that, except for the fact that magic carpets are actually pretty cool. Would you rather be married to someone that doesn't love you or be married to someone that you don't love? Okay, I have a quick question. Why would you be married to someone who you don't love? And why would you be married to someone that doesn't love you? Isn't that basically against the law or something? But then again, like, uh, what's, like, either option is basically the same. Because, like, it doesn't matter which one you take, you're going to be married, but there isn't going to be any love. But, it says, be married to someone that doesn't love you. So, it doesn't technically mean you'll hate the person, the person will love you. So, you know what, it's actually nice to be loved. So, I think I'll be married, but not with... Oh. Mm, okay. Would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour or be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life? <sighs> okay, um, let's see. Every hour is literally 24 times a day. Wait a second, if it says be unable to survive without eating something every hour, does that mean even when you sleep? Because the human body needs like six to eight, yeah, um, I mean like maybe seven hours of sleep. Do you need to eat a bunch of times while you're sleeping? That's no way to live. I think I'd much rather be unable to taste anything because it's not really going to kill you or anything. Wow, really? I feel like I'm the only person who actually thinks about these decisions. Would you rather face a zombie attack or face a shark attack? Okay. Um, zombies are slow. And if you have a weapon, you can just whack the zombie. Alright, I don't... I, I, I don't See, what's so bad about zombie? Alright, even though maybe zombies can still jump or something, I'm not sure I've never faced a zombie before, but I know for a fact that based on watching videos or movies, actually I've never watched a movie about zombies, but based on things I've known, I know for a fact that you can literally just punch a zombie in the nose or punch it literally anywhere on, anywhere on the face. Face a zombie attack. Oh, I made a good decision. Hey, uh, maybe I was overreacting with that decision.
Would you rather be an elephant or be a mouse? Okay, so let's just think for a minute. Elephants are big and strong and they can literally step on any of their enemies. But wait, can an elephant actually attack a snake? Wait, why am I... I don't know why I'm all of a sudden thinking about a snake. I was just thinking about if a snake is faster than, a, than an elephant or if an elephant is stronger than a snake. So either way, I don't really think you can defend yourself against the snake. But, um, to get back on the question, I think I'd rather be an elephant. Ah, oh, yes. Would you rather have the ability to teleport or have the ability to time travel? This feels like a very familiar question. But, if you could teleport, you can go to pretty much anywhere on the planet. Imagine how much money you could save and how much time you could save. Like, let's say you want to go to Paris, but the plane ticket would cost, um, 350 rand. Like, I'm, I know that's not normally how much plane tickets cost, but let's just say that is how much it would cost. Imagine how much money you could save. You could just go to other places instantly and if you've got your toothbrush or any of your books at home, you can just teleport over there. Gosh, do you know how do you know how cool it would be to teleport? But then again, if you could time travel, you could actually undo the mistakes that you make. Be able to time travel. Wait, what? 825,000 people disagree, 812,000 people agree. Can someone please explain to me how is that 50? Seriously, like, uh, someone please explain some basic math to me on how the heck this is 50%. How is that 50? Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe, turn on notification and Give it a big fat thumbs up, that would greatly be appreciated. And be sure to check out some of my other videos, that would be greatly appreciated if you did all of that. Alright, see ya.